We had a bully growing up. We had a bully growing up. Mm-hmm. His name was Pierre. That's right. And the nigga wasn't even a French existentialist. Nope. <laughs> he was just some light-skinned nigga with braces. That's it. But don't let the braces fool you. You can still commit terror with braces. That's right. He would fuck with us whenever he wanted to. That's right. I remember one time we were coming home from class, mm -hmm. and we were following these I girls. I wouldn't say following in this day and no, age. You should probably use a more appropriate, you know, modern language, you know what I mean? We were tracking these girls that's right, home. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Because we were infatuated with them. We wanted to ask them out to the school dance, mm -hmm. and we got within 15 feet of them. Mm -hmm. and we were about to reach out and call their names, and then Pierre jumped right in front of us. I think the nigga scaled the projects. He looked us in his eyes, and he called us, he called us Mary Fake and Ashy Olsen. That's right. <laughs> a cheap pun. But it did crush in the hood. That's right. It did. It mm -hmm. did. But we got the last laugh. That's right. Because eventually Pierre got arrested for stealing bikes. That's right. How do we know? They were our bikes. That's right. <laughs> so the cops brought us down to the police station to identify the culprit. And normally we wouldn't snitch on a motherfucker because our father did 20 years in prison and he got snitched on and he told us never to snitch on a dude, but it was Pierre, so fuck that nigga. <laughs> so the cop grabs us, takes us to the lineup, mm -hmm. points at Pierre, mm -hmm. and he's like, is that the nigga who, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was a black cop. It was a black cop. <laughs> He's like, he's like, is that the nigga who stole your tandem bicycle? That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. And this is what we said in response. Mm -hmm. This is what we said in response. We were like, you, you got, got it, dude. dude.